All right, let's talk about building a rooftop shower for your camper van. This is something that anyone can build and everyone should build because it's easy to build and it's super effective. So let's check this one out. Now, almost every piece of this can be purchased at any hardware store. So check it out. Here it is. All it is, is a 10 foot by four inch diameter piece of PVC painted black with Plasti Dip uh, or truck bed liner. Just four inch caps on the end, a spigot and a nozzle. So here's the components. We've got 10 inch piece of PVC, 10 foot piece of PVC, just a splitter and a mount to pour water into. A port for water, a pressure valve, and these U and these U bolts for holding it on. Now, the U bolts are the only thing that we can't get on get at, get at a hardware store. I bought these off of McMaster, and I'll put a link in the description. It has um, a dampening uh, dampening insert on it so that this doesn't move around or jiggle or damage it. And these are just bolted into whatever you choose to mount this on. So back here, they're just screw they're just drilled through and stopped. And over here, they're mounted on one inch roll bars right here with just a sheet of metal that I drilled some holes in to mount to, right? Super simple. For mounting these sections together, you just buy PVC cement. Um, it's super easy. Just two cans, put it on, you slap it on and it welds itself closed. Then down here for things like this and the air valve, what you do, uh, so here's a spigot and here's a faucet. You drill a hole where you want it, a little bit smaller than the threads on this spigot, and then you heat it up with a blowtorch and you just smush and twist this spigot in, push the threads through the melted plastic, sit it where you want it, let it cool down, and it'll harden with a perfect waterproof and pretty much airproof seal. Um, and then this is just a hose nozzle, um, also from the hardware store. Same thing with the air valve. Heat the plastic with a propane torch and just mush it in with a pair of pliers or a wrench. So here's how it works. And so the last piece is this 12 volt air compressor. It uh, has a cigarette lighter charger and is really meant for pumping up your tires, but it works pretty well for pressurizing the tank. Um, I leave it on because I didn't make this perfectly airtight, so leaving it on keeps consistent pressure in it and it doesn't leak. Now, all we do is plug this, put the nozzle on, and turn it on. And turn on the spigot. We've got water pressure. It, the water will heat up because of the black pipe and you can adjust cone or jet. And there you go. Easy as that. Now the tank will hold about five gallons of water, which equates to roughly a 10 to 15 minute shower time. And if it's a warm day, then the water will still be warm and nice to shower under in the evening. So hope you give it a shot. And let me know if it works for you.